Arc 1 on Unreal Engine 5 was just teased by the official Survive the Arc Twitter. The Arc Survival Evolved that we know is on Unreal Engine 4.5, but an upgrade to UE5, an incredibly time-consuming and monumental task, would spell for massive improvements. If this were a re-release of the game that you could buy, like a remastered version, sales would undoubtedly skyrocket, and the game would have the ability to succeed well because of Unreal Engine 5's capabilities for optimization, and namely the sequencer system. See, Unreal Engine 4.5 uses an older sequencer called the matinee system, which is pretty awful and outdated, and is historically hard for modders to work with, hence why only a select few people such as Kodoko Alex have really dove into it more recently. My team and I also do a lot with the matinee system, like with how Golden Drop created the Aberration Arc Explosion and much more. The sequencer in UE5 though, comparatively, is much easier to use, and I've been using it myself recently to port over Arc dossiers and Explorer Notes directly into UE5 to have an exported sequence of the note animations for the upcoming Aberration Survival Stories and Dossier video. Back to the post though, what does this mean, right? Well, Arc 1 worked. It was immensely profitable and so probably they're thinking the resources that have to go into porting it over to UE5 are worth the investment because of how much money Arc 1 Remastered could potentially make, but we don't know if that's even what's going on yet. Is it just some of the game's content that's being ported over? Is this stuff that's going to be used for Arc 2? Or is this a full-blown remaster, an entirely new game that is Arc Survival Evolved using Unreal Engine 5? The reason this is an important thing to ask is because, well, Arc is a huge game, and so that's going to be a lot of work, but also the game would look vastly different, and in a good way. I do wonder though if this connects to Atlas, because Atlas is supposedly going to be upgrading as well to Unreal Engine 5 this year, apparently in Q1. I did a video on that which you can check out in the description if you want to learn more about the Atlas situation. But anyway, I'm not going to talk your ear off, that's literally it, it's just a Twitter post. Hopefully more is revealed soon, I'm especially looking forward to this because it's relevant to a lot of what my team and I have been doing recently. Like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time.